hi welcome back to this our next uh, video tutorial and in this our lab we are going to look at the uh, cisco switch configuration how can you configure a cisco switch on using the uh, cisco packet dresser so this is the topology that we are going to uh, set up in our la lab environment so we have got one switch and we have got uh, several pc we have got five pieces uh, two pieces belong to VLAN 10 and two other pieces belong to VLAN 20. We also have management PC here. So this manage, this PC here is used to manage this switch uh, from a remote uh, a remote device, that is the telnet, uh, using the telnet service. So we'll be able also to configure this switch one here uh, through our PC here. So we are going to see that uh, after we set up our our remote uh, logging access also the, you can look here this is the task uh, that this uh, let's see the task that we are required to do here so our task here uh, our first step here configure the switch with IP address of 150.150.150.1 for device management and configure enable password CCNA and enable password CCNA that is going to be uh, executed uh, after you enter the uh, global configuration mode then uh, the device access password Cisco that is where we are going to set the password for the console as Cisco configure IP for the pieces those these are uh, all these pieces and uh, step number three create VLAN 10 named cell VLAN 20 named uh, production Assign switch ports with the respective VLAN as per the topology. Uh, test the connectivity between PCs in the same and in different VLANs. So like for instance here, uh, these ports here, these ports that connect to the switch, these ones are act, going to act as the access ports because they connect to the end, uh, end device, that is the terminal devices. Also, we are required also to test if uh, these pieces on the same VLAN will be able to communicate with each other and also to implement inter and try and test if uh, they will also be able to communicate at uh, different different VLANs. So like we'll test if PC number five here can be able to uh, ping with other pieces on this other side. So that's the task guys. Uh, that's the work we are going to do. So uh, to begin, let's just first of all assign these devices IP addresses. These are our PCs. Uh, we will assign them IP addresses. So this one will be at the address of 150.150.150.10. This is a slash. A slash 24 then the gateway will be 150 that's on the switch so 150.150.150.1 then we come to this our uh, switch here on this our uh, switch also we are going to set uh, the IP addresses for this switch so when you get to that switch the IP address uh, here will be 192.168.1.11 uh, subnet mask of that while well, the gateway will be now uh, dot one uh, the gateway will be 192.168.1.11 dot one six eight dot one dot one same to this other pc that's also on vlan 10 and i give it ip address of one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot eleven it will automatically pick the subnet mask sorry let's see this one has it should be dot ten dot eleven. Now then this one will give it one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot eleven. 
dot one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot eleven then uh we give it a gateway of one nine two dot one six eight uh, dot one dot one that is done we go to this other pieces here on this other pieces uh we give it i give the IP address also so the first one is 192.168.2.10 then the gateway here will be 192.168.2.1 and our last piece here is 192.168.2 dot two dot eleven the gateway being uh one nine two one nine two dot one six eight uh dot one dot two dot one dot two dot one uh, well done uh, with those switches. Uh, now we go to our PC here. So now all the configuration we are going to do on the PCs. So while on you are on your PC. So first of all, use the enable command. So like we were, uh, like we are told here. We are going to give this PC IP address of 150.150.1. .150 that is going to act on VLAN uh, number one. Then we are going to configure the enable password as CCNA. So let's give this device a name. So and config uh, config terminal. Then a host name here will be host name. Host name will be switch number one. No IP. No IP. Domain. No IP domain lookup. After that, uh, the next thing we do is now we are going to enable the password as the CCNA has been uh, just, uh, suggested by the, the practical. So enable password as CCNA. After that, uh, we are going to set now the login. Uh, the login uh, going to access the device access password as Cisco. So the device access password, that's one like just the console port. So Enter line console zero. Our uh, password here will set password to Cisco. Then uh, type login so that every time you try to log in, uh, they ask you for the password. Then we create we exit. After exit, uh, we are now going to create uh, uh, the login for the remote, uh, the telnet, the remote uh, management. So we are going to use the line VTY. Line VTY 0 to 4. Password here. We are also going to use Cisco. Then we tell it to log in. So with that, uh, I think we are done now with the with the loggings. Then the next thing is to set the banner. The banner that is the message for the day. So exit. Then tell it banner. Use the dollar sign. So we are. Sorry. The banner message of the day. Here we use the dollar sign. So we're being told that every uh, your character should end with the dollar sign. So we 
let's here give it the border here will be welcome to a, a calcom networks welcome to a calcom uh, networks Then make sure that it ends with the dollar sign. So after that, uh, the next thing, the thing we now do is now you quit and see now if the uh, the password implement has been implemented. So exit, exit again. You can see here uh, the message of the day has been popped up here. The banner. Welcome to a Calcom Networks. So we are required to type the password. So the password for the console was uh, Cisco. That is for the password for the device. After that, use the enable command to get into the uh, privilege executable mode. There we are also be required to uh, enter the password. So the password we said was CCNA. Now you see we have logged successfully after that. Now what you do is now enter to the uh, global configuration mode config t then we are now going to configure the villains so enter the villain uh, villain number 10 on villain number 10 uh, give it a name of so name cell Then on villain number 20, villain number 20, we give it a name of name production. Villain number 10, we give a name production. Then what we do after that, exit and add the interfaces to the villain. So we are going to add uh, interface the range. So that is interface gig uh, 3 gig 2 3 should belong to uh villain 10 then uh 3 4 uh, f uh 2 3 and 4 5 belong to villain 20 so interface range for first ethernet uh, 0 slash 2 2 first ethernet 0 slash 3 here the switch port here this are uh, switch port here the mode will be access so then the switch port it tell the access to allow for villain so access the default villain here will be villain uh, villain 10 do the same to uh, the other range from number four to five. So the switch port mode here will be access. Now the switch port access VLAN here this time now will be 20. After that, uh, we, we check. So do show a VLAN a brief. When you show the villain brief, you can see these interfaces. They have been added uh, to those two villains named uh, sale and production respectively. So we continue. We show villain summary. So the command isn't accepted, so exit. So after that, uh, the, the next thing we do, now we are going to configure the IP address uh, 150.150.150. Uh, so we create uh, on VLAN 1, the default VLAN. So interface VLAN 1. IP address here will be 150. Dot one uh, fifty. 
255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
Let you see. Now you've been told here welcome to Akal Akal welcome to Akalcom networks. Now they are uh, asking you to type the password. So we type the password Cisco. You see now we are able now to log into that uh, our switch from the PC here. You can see here we are on PC zero here. That is the management PC. But we are still able to manage uh, this our switch uh, from our remote access uh, on this PC management PC. So enable. So while we are in the enable command, you are uh, required to uh, enter your password. So you see here, you've now entered into the uh, privilege executable mode. So now uh, type config T. You see now you will be able to now to con do the configuration. You can be able to configure your switch from your uh, management PC. You don't have to configure everything from your PC. You can you can still configure it from the management PC. This has happened because uh, we've created a, a VTY that is able to help the remote uh, access users be able to uh, access now access now the uh, main as uh, device that is the switch so that's uh, how you can implement uh, a switch configuration and also uh, use a telnet service use a uh, your pc to configure uh, your switch so thank you guys i think that's all we had for this chapter you can also simulate and see what happens so Let's simulate and see. You see the packets are how the packets are traveling. Yeah. So, uh, guys, I think uh, this is enough for today. Uh, thank you for watching the video. If you have a problem, uh, there's some something you don't understand. Just feel free to. I reach me through the comment section below. I'll be able to respond to you as soon as possible. So thank you and let's meet in our next uh, uh, video.